Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in this video, we'll be unboxing some really awesome miniatures from a company in the UK called Northumbrian Tin Soldier. And here we go. Here's the package I received from Northumbrian Tin Soldier. Uh, really interesting looking company in the UK that makes some great looking miniatures and um, I've already opened the box just to make sure that all the contents were there but I haven't unpacked anything yet so this is completely new to me and I've never ordered anything from these guys before so everything was bought at full price and so this is really going to be a kind of chance to see exactly what they do and the quality of their miniatures and in this video we'll go through the unboxing and then I'll also go through all the prices put all the links to these in the description below and I'll also explain why I've got these miniatures that you might not have expected to see on this channel. All right so let's get started and get these bad boys unboxed and see exactly what's included in this box here. So here we go so opening it up it's all nicely protected with this bubble wrap and I really like this touch we've got some nice black uh, like paper there and that was stuck down all neatly but I opened it just to check the different contents were there and so in here we've got a battle bear a warrior the goat and the corlock and these are little metal miniatures from a range called the night folk and so we'll be having a look at these in a lot more detail and then in the box they put this nice little card introduce introducing us to the murder of crows sets that they do and all their information here at the back so if you want to take a little look now, you can pause the video, but I'll put links in the description below too for all this. And then you can just click those later once you watch this video and then go and watch, uh, go and check out their awesome range. Really interesting company. So this is really nice. I love this. And then we get the shipping paper with all the details in. And then we've got another little flyer here with another character. I didn't see this one on the website, so this might be like an old uh, model that they used to do and on the back welcome to the darkwood traveler we would like to thank you so much for your purchase enjoy your fantastic miniatures and we look forward to seeing you again soon so another nice touch that fly is not in there to advertise anything just as a little thank you so i really like that and then we've got the star of the show which is going to be this box called the night folk the guardians of the riverbank and so this is going to be an awesome little set. I can't wait to open this. And so these are all the different ones we're going to be opening today. And then in here, just more bubble wrap and the paper. So let's get rid of this box. And in this video, we'll open the Guardians of the Riverbank. And then in future videos, I'll open these smaller sets so we can have a real good look at those. So first of all, let's do the Guardians of the Riverbank. And straight away, I'm loving this box, the packaging. The artwork on the front's great. This nice gold emboss here it looks really stunning and totally different from other sets of like warhammer that we've been used to seeing here on the channel and so i'm really excited to try something different and have a look and in this set of the night folk these are dark fantasy white metal miniatures and in here we're going to get mole ratty badger toad and otter the weasel king and some hench weasels and these are the guardians of the riverbank inspired by wind in the willows and so you'll recognize all those characters from that and this is going to contain those 10 miniatures the 28 millimeters and they're unpainted white metal gaming miniatures it says here not suitable for children under 14 years so there we go so that's the front and then on the back is the plain box so let's um open this up and see what's inside okay here we go so i'm loving this packaging it's almost like getting a little present a little gift in the post it's great get rid of that plastic so this feels great quality and let's get the lid off the box see what's in there and so opening it up nice little sticker there and again all with this uh, nice paper so this really is like a little gift little present we're not just opening it up and seeing all the plastic sprues and books and bases falling out this looks some like it's something completely different and something a little bit special and here we go two more little postcards so these are the weasels and on the back all the contact details it's another really nice little postcard and then we've got this one for the main guys looking awesome and these would be nice on the wall wouldn't they they're really cool and then inside 
We've got all our bases, all in this neat foam packaging. So this is really lovely. It's going to be a nice place to store them in. We've got our little bag, little soft bag, and also you also get a set of dice. So you get the, the seven dice in this nice dark green colour. So this really matches the whole theme. So the dice are really nice too. So they're really great. You can never have too many dice. So that's awesome. And they will go in the little dice bag. Keep them all protected. Awesome. So this is nice, really all laid out so well. And we've got the miniatures all in their little protective sections and all the bases here. And these are gonna be what? 28 mil bases with the nice rounded edges. So there we are. So let's um, zoom the camera in and we'll take a close look at each of the figures and I'll put them on the bases as well just so you can see them stood up and then uh, we can take a real close look at each one. And here's our first miniature. I'm going straight in for Toad. No messing around. Look at this. This is really great. Totally different to what I'm used to. And uh, I've bought a few metal figures in the past. Not many, but this is great. Really nice. And he's got his sword ready. His little tiny shield. I can't remember what they're called. Looking awesome. Got a feather in his hat there. Has he got a hat on? Yeah, he's got a little kind of hat or hood. So really nice. And then he's going to go in the base. Just pop him in. And then he can stand up. So there's our first one, Toad. And I'm really happy. Straight away. I mean, even just opening the box, I'm happy. It's really nicely done and really arranged well. And I think you'll be surprised at how much this cost when we compare it to other miniatures, it wasn't much at all. So for what you're getting, immediately I'm happy with the price and the contents. So that's awesome. There we go, there's our first one, Toad. Next up, we've got Ratty, and he's there with his short sword, his armor, arm on his hip, all pleased with himself. Great looking tail, that's really great. Yeah, these are really nice. So it's gonna be interesting to see how much detail comes out when I paint this. But look, looking at the fur, it's really nicely done. The mouth, are we going to see some teeth there? I hope so. And the eyes. The belt's really nice. And the little pouch as well. A little bit of trimming to do here. Not much at all though. I can't see any like mould lines or anything like that. So really nice, really neat. Another awesome little miniature. And just a little side by side with Toad. They're about the same height. So there we are. Now let's move on to the next one. Our third miniature is Molly, and you can see he's got his glasses and he's got a little slingshot or catapult and a little bag there and his hand's just going in it, it looks like. Maybe taking out a little stone or something to shoot with. And he looks great too. Bags of character in these. They're going to be so fun to get painted up. But there he is. Really nice. And then again, comparing in size. Maybe he's a little bit smaller. Yeah, a little bit smaller than Ratty. So I think this could be the smallest miniature in this set. But he looks good, doesn't he? Really good. Nice. Now let's go on to the next one. Now we've got the biggest looking model from the whole set. And this is Badger. And he's got this double-handed mace. So he's not messing around. He's going to do some serious damage there. He's got some heavier armor. He's even got a little sword or cutlass of some kind. Tail's great sticking out. Again, some nice detail on this fur. I love the little feet poking out too. A little bend at the bottom here, but we can just straighten that out. No problem, and just trim it off a little bit. But I love all these little bits on the armor. So he's gonna be like the tank, I guess, of this bunch. Really great. So yeah, just a little bit of a bend in this, but it's not gonna take any trouble at all just to put that straight. I love the face, these big bushy eyebrows that you wanna see on a badger is just perfect. And then let's compare him with Ratty. And he's definitely bigger, much bigger, like a good head height as well. And um, at the end, I'll line them all up so you can see them all together and then you can see them compared with the smallest to the biggest. Awesome. So these are getting better. I love Badger, but let's move on to the fifth one now. And now we've got our fifth miniature and this is Otter. And so he's gonna be like the fifth one out of the good guys, if you like. And he's got this real interesting looking weapon here. Some kind of hammer, is it? Or like mallet. But he's definitely be clubbing away. And he's just chilling there, smoking on his pipe. He looks brilliant, man. It's so good. I love this. The kind of casual, chilled out nature of them. They're like all really cocky going into battle. I really like that. He's got a little roll mat on his back, a little pouch. 
and again the tail sticking out and you can see we've got chain mail against the fur and then against these smoother parts of the coats going to be really nice to paint and i'll be doing them with contrast paints mostly except for like the metal work and so i can't wait to see how that's going to come out definitely do a little bit of dry brushing on the fur here to really bring out that texture but these are going to be great so i'm loving this so here's our fifth one, and now let's move on to the bad guys, which are going to be the Weasel King and the Hench Weasels. But before we do that, I got too excited, and I should match him up with Ratty, so you can see the size. So he's a little bit higher than Ratty, but not quite as big as Badger. So good size there. I love how they're really in proportion, all these together. Look really good. Right, so there we are. And now let's move in to the Weasel King. And here he is. Another great pose. Sticking his stomach out there, hand on hip, ready for it, ready for a battle. He's got this big cloak and pretty mean looking sword there. That's like a cleaver, that's going to do some damage. And I like the expression on this guy. He's looking a bit more mean with the eyebrows, snarling face. And so, some really nice textures on this one, too. So, this is looking nice. That tail is pretty good with his bands around it. So this is our first weasel. So we're going to get five weasels, but this is our weasel king. So now let's take a look at the hench weasels. Okay, I did it again. I didn't compare him with uh, Ratty, but there we go. That's the size comparison. And then we're going to see then I'll compare the rest of the hench weasels to the weasel king. So this guy, just a tiny, tiny bit taller. So he's got a bit more of a neck on him. And he's the first hench weasel. And uh, looking good, just drawing his sword. I like these big cloaks they've got. They're really nice. And the tails are awesome. But this guy's poking his neck out a lot more. And that looks really great, doesn't it? And the feet and the fur is really good. He's got some other little blades going on there. So he's going to be a bit sneaky, it looks like. Hiding those behind his cloak. So this guy's great. Great expression again. And then let's take a look at the next hench weasel. And let's compare him in size to the weasel king. Just again, a little bit taller with that headpiece on, that little floppy hat he's wearing. And he's got a club with some spikes in. He's kind of banging it against his fist. Little pouch, another little pouch there. The big bushy tail, little bag on his back. Another mean looking dude. So that's awesome. And that's our third of the weasels. So we've got two more weasels to go. And this is our like assassin looking figure. And our first lady character of the set. So we've got a lady weasel with crossbow and she looks like she's going to be pretty mean as well and comparing her to the king she's a little bit shorter she's probably the, the shortest maybe second shortest of the weasels so there we go but this has got some nice detail that feather in her head the dress and all the ruffles again loads of texture big amount of arrows so she's going to be shooting pretty quick there she's gonna have a few shots with her range weapon Looking a bit smug, if you ask me, but looking awesome. There we go. And so now that leaves us with one more hench weasel to go. And here he is. He's kind of bended over, almost in like an animal pose, really, just looking over his shoulder. Got this cutlass going on. So you could certainly use these as like little pirates. They really fit in with that. He's got a little pirate hat almost as well. Another little blade, big bushy tail, and some great texture in all those clothes and pouches. Little waistcoat going on. So this guy's brilliant. Let's match him up with the Weasel King. So yeah, this is the shortest one of the set there. So awesome. But there we are. So that's all the miniatures now that are included. 10 really nicely done miniatures, all built. You haven't got to assemble them at all, all made in one piece. So that's really great. I'm really looking forward to seeing how these come out painted up. But let's line them up now and have a look at them side by side and we'll see how they all compare size wise. Here's the full lineup with them all next to each other so you can get a good idea of the size. So certainly Toady and Ratty are like the medium size and then we've got the smallest Moly building up to Badger who's the beast but those weasels are all looking pretty big too and so they're going to be pretty difficult to take on but I'm sure these little ones can handle themselves too and as we scroll through you can just see they look so good all lined up together. And I think getting these painted is going to be brilliant. There's lots of details we can bring out. And I've never painted any men uh, metal miniatures. So this is going to be really interesting to kind of get into that and give it a go. But what perfect miniatures to start with. I'm really happy with these. I think they look great. And there's the big boy at the end, Badger. 
So there's our five weasels with the Weasel King and his hench weasels. And then we've got the Guardians of the Riverbank, all inspired by Wind of the Willows and an all-round brilliant set. For me, this was such a fun unboxing, and I think this is one of the favourite unboxings I've ever done. Um, the packaging was brilliant. It was like opening a gift from someone. It's really nice. And you get the dice, the 10 miniatures, the little thank you note was a really nice touch. Just getting this little flyer popped in there just to say thanks. I think that's really nice. And the little postcards as well. I really kind of get the idea that the people who made these put a lot of pride behind it and um, really have got some passion there. And just to present your products like this, I think it's beautiful, really nice. And I'd love to buy this for someone as a gift. Someone maybe who's never played the game before um, or war games or skirmish games to receive something like this. I think it would be a stunning gift. It would certainly get someone excited about playing. So this set was priced at $34.95. So for everything you see here, it's $34.95 on the website. And I'll put a link in the description below so you can find it. And I, I set myself up as an affiliate for them. Um, and then now I've opened it, I'm really happy to promote this product. And I can certainly recommend it. I think for $34.95 to get such high quality miniatures, cast in metal in this great packaging with some dice and all these nice little touches, I think it's really great value. I'm really impressed with everything I've seen here and I hope you like it but um, that link will be an affiliate link then but it won't cost you anything extra you know you'll pay the same price as me $34.95 but for every sale made through a link I'll get a small commission and that's going to help me develop the channel purchase more products and do loads more reviews and videos like this so thanks so much for that support I really appreciate it and I'm so happy I've started looking at more independent games um, still going to do all the Warhammer videos daily, but really, really happy to be looking at these independent games as well as additional videos. If you've been watching the channel since I started last November, then you'll know it's mostly Warhammer that's been featured and recently Core Space as well. And you might be wondering why on earth I've bought these animal anthropomorphic figures from Northumbrian Tin Soldier. And there's two reasons. One reason is uh, a couple of years ago, I wrote a kind of RPG game all about, based around like animals. And this is something I've always wanted to put into more of a skirmish game, like a quick game that you can play with your kids with some real simple rules and mechanics, but all narrative driven with lots of stories behind it, real quirky. And so that's something I'm gonna start doing on the channel. Over the next year, I'm gonna kind of share the whole journey with you as I write that book get it all finished, build all the terrain for it, develop characters, get them painted, and every step of the way as we put that game together, I wanna to share the progress with you as some kind of like diary so you can see it all unfolding. And then at the end, once the game's released, I'm looking at kind of putting together some kind of limited edition pack with some really cool miniatures and um, the game rules and all the assets you'll need to play the game. But it'd be really simple. I want it all contained in one book that you can use any miniatures for, um, from anything from something cool like these Northumbrian Tin Soldier figures to even Lego miniatures. So you can literally use anything you've got at home. Um, so yeah, so that's really exciting. And that's one of the reasons that I've got these figures. And I really wanted to look at the Northumbrian Tin Soldier company as perhaps something I would look to build the game with. Another reason I picked up these miniatures was for this game called Burrows and Badgers. And this is a skirmish game of anthropomorphic animals by Michael Lovejoy. And it's thanks to one of my Patreons for recommending this. Uh, so big shout out and thanks to Chessy for recommending this game. I really love it. And um, it's also kind of inspired me to get on and bring that passion back for the RPG game I wrote a little while back. So really thanks for that. And I uh, can't wait to get stuck into this game on the channel too. So look out for a video coming soon where I'll be doing a review of the book and also providing links to the miniatures that are made by Michael Lovejoy and the team as well. Because there's some awesome uh, animal miniatures too. A little bit different to these from Northumbrian Tin Soldiers. The ones from Burrows and Badgers are a lot more animal-like where I think these are a bit more cartoony and I really like that style. But both worth a look at. So look out for that video coming really soon. And that's why I've kind of got these. And um, I hope you've enjoyed watching them and learning about the Northumbrian Tin Soldier Company and definitely recommend taking a look at them online. I really hope you enjoyed the video and liked the look of these Northumbrian Tin Soldier miniatures. They really are a great set. They're gonna be perfect for burrows and badgers and also for another game that I'm gonna be releasing a little bit of information about really soon. 
But I hope you liked the video and please like if you did like it, subscribe for more videos like this and don't forget to hit the notification bell to join me next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games. If you like this kind of content and would like to support the channel, then please check out my Patreon page. And thanks to everyone who's joined so far. It's really awesome. We hang out on Discord, talk about the hobby, share ideas and help each other out. And you'll get some perks there that you're not going to find anywhere else. So I'll put a link in the description and it'll be great to see you there.